Fishing Freaks, a great atmospheric disturbance will be happening within hours. Not in another 300 years will such a lunar solar interaction take place in this longitude latitude where I'm standing. That's right, a full eclipse will be happening here shortly. And we're here to find out, will the world still be standing? Will revelations be taking place? Will the earth split open? And most importantly, will the fish be biting? That's right, y'all. Welcome on back to the channel. We are going to be witnessing an eclipse today. Uh, we've got sort of overcast conditions, kind of keeps going in and out. But I'm really curious. I, I have, I can't even remember the last time I viewed an eclipse, probably when I was a kid. And I've certainly never been on the water during an eclipse. So I want to see what is going to take place here. I'm not even going to be species specific. I'm just curious what the heck is going to, what are the shad going to do? What, you know, what are the catfish going to do? What are the crappie going to, are the bass going to be feeding during the, the darkness? That's just going to be weird. It's going to be middle of the day. It's just going to go dark for like five minutes. Let's load up the crispy. Let's head out to the lake and let's see if we can capture this eclipse and capture the fish activity. It might be a really cool like, top water day. I don't know. We are floating and the eclipse is already starting to take place. So we're getting out of the water just as it's, it's little edge is starting to happen. This process will be a couple hours, but the apex, the totality is what they call it. Totality. That's only gonna be about four or five minutes. The uh, park is absolutely packed today. So we've been putting around for about 20 minutes and we're just starting to see the eclipse happen. And it feels a little darker, like a little bit hazier, not too far off from being just overcast. So my prediction is the fish are going to basically think it's getting darker earlier and probably be a little bit more pro pro Crepuscular feeding, that's the word I was looking for, which is basically like low light triggered. I'm on a big, just main lake ridge, and I think what I'm about to do, just as an experiment, just toss on a crankbait, and I'm just gonna troll around here, see if anything will bite it. See if catfish, bass, white bass, whatever, wants to bite a crankbait. Just running mid-depth crankbait. See if there's any solar biters, eclipse biters. Give it the old cast out there. We'll stick her in gear. I'm just gonna kind of keep my boat in, you know, about 15, 20 foot of water. Look at the sun. Let's check it out. Let's see what's going on here. What are you guys seeing? Out here in my tin rig, looking for the eclipse. Oh, got bumped. There we are. We're on. We're on, baby. We're on. What's it gonna be? Aha! There we go. Feeders. White bass feeder, that's a good eater right there. Fortunately for you, I don't know if we're gonna keep you today, I don't know. About a fish. I'd say that one was uh, pretty predictable because it was like right on a point. I was seeing so much activity, I was like, how am I not gonna get bit in here? Let's do a sun check, sun update. Let's look up in the sky. I'm looking at the LCD screen. So it's not hurting my eyes. It's kind of like looking in a mirror. Okay, I'm not really seeing uh, the full effect yet, but we are getting some clouds to move out. I would be really impressed if they started actually coming up and eating top water. Like that would make, probably convince me of, okay, yeah, the eclipse really has an effect. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna film this in 6K. All right, this is gonna be in 6K. This camera does 6K. I've got a long lens. I'm gonna try it with this one first. I wanna see. Let's 
turn our f-stop all the way up see the eclipse forming yet oh yeah you can see it oh yeah you can see it is starting it's on the edge folks we are on the edge of the eclipse right now wow that's really cool I'm gonna I'm gonna get my big lens out look at Look at all these fish down here. Isn't that wild? The fish are here. The fish are forming. The eclipse is happening. It's happening. Oh, the fi a fish just jumped over here. Oh my gosh, guys. I gotta get to the shoreline. This is driving me crazy. We can't miss the apex. All right, let's go. Let's get it, boys. Come on. We gotta get to the bank, quick. It's happening. Float up here because this is it's going down, so it's already starting to get darker. I can feel it. Oh. Holy, look at this! Look at this! It is getting darker. I don't know if you can tell, it's just this haze. But I'm looking at it through the LCD screen right here. You guys are actually looking at it, you got a pretty good view. This is nuts, man. So I'm gonna say in another 10 minutes, it's just gonna be fully covered. I gotta stick on the bank for this. I just had to, I have to see it. Everything's so still for some reason. Oh, are the heavens gonna open up? Is the earth gonna quake? I think it's just gonna be another day, folks. Another day, another dangle, but with a very special atmospheric situation. This has gone dark, dark. It's so cloudy. Oh, wow. 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 Look at that. Look at that, man. Holy cow. I see birds going crazy. It's like they are coming up to the top i think fish are underneath them pushing shad up the fish think that it's it's getting dark right now i'm torn between do i stick here and get the apex of the eclipse or do i go out there and and throw my lure out there under these fish that is amazing look oh my gosh i'm just looking at a small little camera lens right now wow that is insane guys That is insane. <laughs> wow. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is a first for me. What an experience. What a universe we live in. Incredible. I was actually wrong on my prediction on this, I was thinking, you know, if you're not really paying attention, you probably don't even know with the overcast day, there would be no way to not notice this. Uh, where we are in the state of Texas, there's, we just happen to be in one of those cities that is like right on the line of getting a, a total eclipse and we got it. This is so cool. I'm sharing it with you guys right now. You guys are getting to see it is, uh, 142 we are at the peak of the eclipse right now Jeez. supposedly this lasts for about four or five minutes this is dark i mean this is like night fishing this would be night fishing right now i just got i gotta look with my sunglasses on oh, it's still bright it's still really bright to look at probably probably damage your eye now it feels like all right we're coming out of it we're coming out of it right now. What a weird light. What a weird light it is. Okay, it's coming back. It's coming back. It's getting light again. This is the strangest feeling. Wow. It's a pretty impressive outdoor moment. I'm not going to lie. 
I, I will remember this for the rest of my life. That time I filmed that total eclipse. Oh, what are the fish going to do now? Let's go check on all these birds that I was seeing going crazy over here. Shoot, there's like a chill in the air, guys. All right, looks like fish are higher up on the water column, too. This is crazy. Look at this. Look where the fish are in the water column. They came up. But that definitely had an effect on the fish right there. We're going to slurp spoon them, folks. It's time. We're going to get that big old half ounce on them. It's like the world stopped turning for just a little bit, and now we're we're back in action. Oh my gosh, look at this school underneath me. Look at this school. I mean, we're about to just get bopped. We're about to get bopped. I big, those are big. I have noticed a weird thing with the bugs. Like the bugs definitely came out thinking it was evening. Oh, there he is. I got him. He was, he was under the boat. That's a good in there, golly. Oh my gosh, we're just on a big school of them here. This is, if I get on these things, this is gonna be my first one of the year. We're breaking it in, boys. Breaking it in. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at the electronics. Look at that wad, those are all big ones. Oh, I'm getting hit on the way down. Getting hit on the way down. Oh gosh, another one had it. We're getting bopped. Oh gosh, I'm on. I just had to get it to the bottom. Oh yeah. Come here, buddy. I mean, as soon as I got down there, big ones. Big ones. Gone. Oh, shiitake mushrooms. I apologize for that, sir. Ho! Oh. Keep them hot and ready. Keep them hot and ready. They're all over the place. Oh! We're on. Oh, little boy. Maybe out here. Maybe out here. Oh my gosh, these big schools. Oh, some just came up to the top right here at the surface. Top water eclipse action. Oh, got it. Oh, I see them. Po they're popping the top over here. They're popping the top in the back. They're popping the top. This is no. This is no joke. This is actual eclipse top water happening. Oh my gosh! On the way down, popped, popped, popped. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. Just get popped every time. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. I'm not kidding you. I came out last week trying to catch these things and I could not catch them. They are on fire right now. The eclipse has them fired up. I just had another one. I'm just gonna try making a cast. Oh, smashed. All the casts. This might be the method. guy. Come here. Come here, bro. You want that cast, don't you? All right. Big. I mean, we're just on like a big flat. Nothing special about this. Half ounce spoon. Here's, here's the technique. I think this is going to work really well. Cast it out. Let it go to the bottom. Hold your rod at a 10. Five or six cranks with your reel handle and just watch your line. Let it go back to the bottom. Five or six cranks with the reel handle. Let it fall, that's it. That's that's done, that's all you gotta do. That's, that's it. That way you're getting your spoon through multiple schools instead of vertically jigging. Look at this, look at this bird. Bird's diving. Oh, this guy is spitting up shad juice. Look at these. Creatures just swirling, swirling creatures. Look at that brush. There's fish in the brush, There's fish just surrounding the brush. Look at these over here, right under the boat. 
I'm gonna go right into the school. No tips needed here. Just throw at the birds. You know what happens. I'm really thinking if I had some top water right now. Look, come on. Didn't even make it to the bottom. Oh my gosh, y'all. I have a fish on. I put my rod down to change my battery in my camera. There's literally a fish on here. Okay. They're biting. They're biting. But that's happening. They are biting. This was this is a significant adjustment in fish feeding activity. Before and after. Same area. Same area. Little buddy. Man. Woo! There it goes. It's silly. So tempted. I'm about two fish away from being like, okay, I'm just gonna keep you. Some need to be taken. Sacrifice. Hit it on the way down. Can't even get it down there. Just hitting it on the way down. Mm. Big boy. 100% general fish behavior has turned it up. Now they are everywhere, 10, 20 foot, like they're they're coming up. Some are at the surface. There it goes. Bumping my spoon. Getting bumped. We're on. We're on. I got one out of the school. Look at them. Look at them. They're all coming. They're coming up. Here they come. The whole army is coming with them. Oh, there's just more. There's more. I need backup. I need backup out here. What are you doing in my boat, Peaches? You never get up here. She's a, she's my most curious bird. She's a curious bird. So we're fresh off the lake, y'all. And what did we experience during the eclipse? Fast and furious fish catching action. Basically the fish started schooling and then right after it was like, boom, 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 boom. The fish were going crazy. And there were two things that were really going on. Number one was the low light. I think the, the, the plankton in that short span, they also went up to towards the surface. You got phytoplankton, the phytoplankton go higher in the surface in the low light hours to get as much light as possible. Zooplankton following that, shad following that, predatory species following that. So you had that whole thing going on. And then also the wind, the wind just stopped. And if you guys know the explanation for the wind stopping, let me know in the comments down below, but it just got still. So it was like calm and low light, just like perfect top water conditions, quite honestly. And it was without a doubt, one of the coolest experiences I've had on the water. I've watched some firework shows out on the lake. I've done some night fishing, had some pretty cool experiences out on the lake. I've never seen anything like that before. That was really cool. Steph and the kids were back here at the house and they got to experience the whole thing as well. And she told me that the chickens didn't know what to do. They basically just froze. Go ahead and click that thumbs up, y'all, for outdoor greatness. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see y'all again soon on another outdoor adventure.